फ्रेंड्स माय सर सिद्धार्थ चौहान वेलकम टू इजी मेडिकैम टुडे इस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट द एब्ड्यूसेंस नर्व इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैड कवर्ड अबाउट द ऑक्यूलोमोटर नर्व एंड द ट्रॉकलियर नर्व सो टुडे वी विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट द एब्ड्यूसेंस नर्व द एब्ड्यूसेंस नर्व आई हैव ड्रॉन अप ब्रेन स्टेम हियर इफ दिस रीजन ऑफ द ब्रेन स्टेम इज कॉल्ड द मिड ब्रेन दिस इज द पॉन्स वेरली एंड दिस इज द मेडिला ओपलिंगेटा फ्रॉम द mid brain the two cranial nerves which are the oculomotor nerve and the trochlear nerve will get arise okay and this region of the brain stem is called the inferior pontine region or the ponto medullary junction from the anterior aspect of anterior aspect of the ponto medullary junction or the inferior pontine region from this region the troch the abducens nerve will get arise from the anterior aspect of the ponto medullary junction or the inferior pontine region the abducens nerve will get arise from this region so this is the region from where the abducens nerve will get arise at this region anterior aspect of the ponto medullary junction the fibers of the abducens now leave the inferior pons and enters the orbit via superior orbital fascia to runs to the eye this nerve will also enter via superior orbital fascia there are three nerves which will get enter to the orbit through superior orbital fascia these are the first one is an oculomotor nerve which will enter the orbit through an superior orbital fissure second one is a trochlear nerve which will also get enter into an orbit through superior orbital fissure the third one is an abducens nerve which will enter the orbit through superior orbital fissure as well so the three cranial nerves enter the superior orbit via the superior orbital fissure are first one is a oculomotor nerve second is a trochlear nerve and the third is an abducens nerve these three nerves will enter by the orbit through superior orbital fissure the abducens nerve is primarily a motor nerve this is not a sensory nerve this is not both sensory as well as motor this is a motor nerve so the somatic motor fibers of abducens nerve will supply the lateral rectus muscle and extrinsic muscle of eye this this abducens nerve will supply to an lateral rectus muscle an oculomotor nerve will supply to an inferior superior medial rectus muscle and the inferior oblique muscle and the levator palpebral superioris muscle and the trochlear nerve will supply to an superior oblique muscle but the abducens nerve will supply to an lateral rectus muscle so we have to keep it in our mind that the three muscles the three nerves will supply to an eye muscles these are oculomotor nerve second one is a trochlear nerve and the third one is an abducens nerve the oculomotor nerve will supply to an superior medial and inferior rectus inferior oblique and the levator palpebral superioris muscle the trochlear nerve will supply to a superior oblique muscle abducens nerve will supply to a lateral rectus muscle if somehow if somehow the abducens nerve will get paralysis so we if this is a condition when the abducens nerve will get paralysis the eye cannot move laterally because the abducens nerve will supply to a lateral rectus muscle so the eye cannot move laterally because the abducens nerve will get paralyzed at rest affected eyeball turns medially which is called as, as an internal strabismus if the because the abducens nerve will supply to a lateral rectus muscle the lateral rectus muscle will not work any more when abducens nerve will get paralysis so the eyeball will turns internally which is called as an internal strabismus this is the condition when the abducens nerve will get paralysis there are the uh, there are three nerves which will supply to an eye these three must these three nerves are oculomotor nerve trochlear nerve and abducens nerve so this is very important one we have to keep it in our mind that the oculomotor nerve will supply to a superior rectus muscle if uh, if i draw a eyeball here this is the eyeball 
this eyeball has this muscle is a superior rectus muscle this muscle is a medial rectus muscle and this muscle is a lateral rectus muscle and this one is the inferior rectus muscle this one is the superior oblique muscle this one is a superior oblique muscle and this one is the inferior oblique muscle so this muscle is the superior rectus muscle this one is the inferior rectus muscle this one is the medial rectus and this one is the lateral rectus okay this blue one is a superior oblique muscle and this one is the inferior oblique muscle the superior rectus medial rectus this one the superior rectus medial rectus inferior rectus and inferior oblique these four muscles are these are the extrinsic muscles of the eye these all are the extrinsic muscles of the eye the out of these muscles the superior rectus medial rectus inferior oblique and inferior rectus are being supplied by an oculomotor nerve okay but the superior oblique this one the superior oblique is being supplied by an trochlear nerve and the lateral rectus this one is supplied by an abducens nerve so we have to keep it in our mind that these six are the extrinsic muscles of the eye out of six the four extrinsic muscles of an eye are being supplied by an oculomotor nerve which are the superior rectus inferior rectus medial rectus and inferior oblique muscles whereas the superior oblique is being supplied by an trochlear nerve and the lateral rectus is being supplied by an abducens nerve okay these are the diagrams for oculomotor nerve trochlear nerve and the abducens nerve for the oculomotor nerve because the four extrinsic muscles will supply to an oculomotor nerve this is a condition for the trochlear nerve this is a condition and for the abducens nerve this is a condition so that's all for the uh, abducens nerve we will be continuing the next part of the video with the next cranial nerve so do like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more notification and do comments also and thank you please like share and subscribe easy medicam and press bell icon for more notification